active rear. Well, we only built 20 of them. No two were identical. And this has an 18 man crew. Massive number of guys inside. It's also unstable. This is a tank that falls over on rough ground if you're not careful. If you think about it, that's not an ideal tank characteristic. It's armed with a Norton felt gun in front, and it's got secondary uh, MGO-8 machine guns as the one you've just been firing down the side. Not even the German high command was impressed with these things. Von Ludendorff looked at the A7V and said, well, it's not like good, but we've built some, so we may as well use it. On the one occasion, see a bit more of this on the film, the one occasion that an A7V, a British tank, came into contact, the one tank-on-tank -tank engagement of the First World War, uh, one British Mark V destroyed an A7V and sent two others stuffing off into cover. So it really is quite a dreadful bit. This is a very good replica, it's proper sized. As I said, the only survivor is, is down in Australia. It is a monstrous great thing. The German army realised how bad it was and they actually came up with an alternative solution. After Combray, particularly, there were a good many British tanks uh, left on battlefield. They were broken down for those parts, and the German army uh, took quite a few of them back. Uh, they re uh, armed them with their own weaponry, painted a big iron cross to the side, and they actually turned the point of the past. Uh, so, uh, booted tanks, I suppose, would be the uh, best description for it. Uh, they had 20 ASMBs, but they had a running fleet of around about 100 British. This is actually about the right speed. When you see these tanks moving around, this is the sort of speed they actually moved at uh, in reality. But, as I said earlier, the of manoeuvre and exploitation. Um, they are just there to punch through the wire and to take out machine guns. Later in the war, the British Army does start to come up uh, with other vehicles, things like the Wicket. That's a little bit faster. Um, don't get excited. It goes up from 2 to 4 miles an hour to roughly 8 miles an hour. But the Wicket is 